I know we're all frustrated as we enter this new year. Omicron variant is causing millions of cases and record hospitalizations. I've been, uh, I've been saying that as we remain in this pandemic. Uh, this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And I mean by this, right now, both vaccinated and unvaccinated people are testing positive. But what happens after that could not be more different. If vaccinated people test positive, they overwhelmingly have either no symptoms at all or they have mild symptoms. And if, they're, if you're unvaccinated, if they test positive, there are, you are 17 times more likely to get hospitalized. As a result, they're crowding our hospitals, leaving little room for anyone else who might have a heart attack or an injury in an automobile accident or any injury at all. And yes, the unvaccinated are dying from COVID-19. If you're not vaccinated, join the nearly 210 million American people who are vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, join the nearly 80 million Americans who have gotten the booster shot with the strongest protection possible. Vaccines are safe, they're free, and they're widely available. So do it today, please, for your sake, the sake of your kids, the sake of the country, that wearing a well-fitting mask of, of, of any of them is certainly better than not wearing a mask. It was well fitting. What if uh, over your nose? And but it's about one third, about one third of Americans report they don't wear a mask at all. As I've said in the last two years, please wear a mask. If you're in a, you know, I, I think it's part of your patriotic duty. It's not that comfortable. It's a pain in the neck. But I've taken every action I can as president require people to wear masks in federal buildings and on airplanes and trains. Next week, we'll announce, we'll announce how we are making high-quality masks available to American people, the American people, for free. I, you know, I, I know we all wish that we could finally be done with wearing masks. I get it. But they're, they're a really important tool to stop the spread, especially of a highly transmittable Omicron variant. This month, it's estimated, that we will hit approximately 15 million tests a day, and we'll have over 375 million at-home rapid tests in January alone. That's a huge leap. Today, I'm announcing our next deployment of six additional federal medical teams, a total of more than 120 military medical personnel, to six hard-hit states, Michigan, New York, New Jersey, Ohio, Rhode Island, it's been a long road, but what's clear is that we get through this when everybody does their part. No matter where you live, no matter your political party, we've got to fight this together. Unfortunately, <clears throat> while our military is stepping up, as they always do, there are others sitting on the sidelines, and we're standing in the way. If you haven't gotten vaccinated, do it. Personal choice impacts us all. I make a special appeal to social media companies and media outlets. Please deal with the misinformation and disinformation that's on your shows. It has to stop. COVID-19 is one of the most formidable enemies America has ever faced. We've got to work together, not against each other. We're America. We can do this.